Like in the United Kingdom right now, over the pond in America, there's a huge interest in apprenticeships. There's an ambition that's been set federally to double the number of registered apprenticeships. So they're looking to reach nearly a million uh, apprentices by 2020. Um, obviously, there's huge interest in the UK model because over the last decade and a half, there's been massive expansion too. So uh, our cousins in the US look at our model and they say, well, hey, our labour market's similar to yours. It's uh, fairly flexible. Um, you know, unlike perhaps the Germanic systems, Germany and Switzerland, there isn't this great tradition either in the UK or America of uh, chambers of commerce and uh, that kind of culture. So there's a huge interest in UK providers in terms of this whole model around scaling up apprenticeships. So through the Transatlantic Apprenticeship Exchange Forum, what we're able to do is build those bridges between UK-based uh, providers like OneFile, like 3AAA, and there's a whole host of other um, providers that are members of TAFE. And what we're able to do is essentially partner up UK providers with uh, similar providers or perhaps new joint venture partners who can come together in perhaps a particular state and say we're going to deliver uh, you know, English apprenticeship models like for example cyber security or IT or digital uh, media. So it's already happening and in fact Maryland is the first state in the US that's already approved through its state apprenticeship uh, training board has approved the English apprenticeship standards. The United States like the United Kingdom is a, a, a sort of federation of uh, different uh, nations and states so just like we have a four country system here for apprenticeships in the UK in effect there's a 50 state system for apprenticeships uh, in the US and that's why it's really important through mechanisms like TAFE to think carefully beforehand which state uh, is more likely to be offering you know the kind of apprenticeship areas I'm interested in so you know if it's IT obviously states like California um, are driving hard on um, IT but many of the states in the eastern seaboard for example are driving hard on advanced manufacturing uh, and on healthcare uh, and some of these kind of professional services areas so it's really important I think if you are thinking as a UK provider about expanding into the US that you you do your homework and think about which state would be uh, the place to go and, and uh, seek out those opportunities.